gonna be fun. Let's see how you like this. a close one. Helps having Sid here. I never would have guessed he could drive a train as well. 
Actually, I ain't got a clue. What? Hey, don't worry. It's not my nature to give up. Let's see. There are two levers. Left and right. I get it. All I have to do is alternate the levers up and down. Judging from the enemy's speed, I'd say they're about ten minutes from North Corral. We're gonna have to fly. Hold on tight! Demolish them. This is gonna be fun. Next to be you! Let's kick it up a notch. Had respect for not running! What the... You... 
All right. Hand over to Huge Materia, nice and quiet. Shit. You had guts taking on the great Sid. I will forget you. They could get it going. But how do we stop it? Forget the huge materia! What about us? I know that! Just shut up and sit tight! If this carries on, we'll crash right into North Korea! Well, if alternating the levers accelerates a train, then moving them up and down simultaneously should deploy the brakes. We're gaining speed. Why the heck are we speeding up? Oh crap, I got it back to front. Okay, what's this? You're screwing it up, you old fool! Shit! I'm really impressed. You guys are amazing! Did you stop that train? Shiver was about to destroy our lives all over again. It may be a scrap heap, but it's still our home. To hell with Meteor. We're coal miners, ain't we? We'll dig a big tunnel and hide from it. That's right! Hey kid, how about giving those people something for fighting Shinra? I fished this rock out of the well. It looks awesome, doesn't it? That must have been a horrific battle. You got scars all over. I already talked to the guy running the inn. You can rest up free there for the day. Meteor really going to crash down on us? I'm too young to die, I still have to remarry! This is a memento of my husband, but I want you to have it. Please do something about Meteor. I wanted to live a little longer, but with Meteor heading our way... Whenever I look up into the sky, I see Meteor staring right back at me. If you're gonna come crashing down, then get on with it! Cause I'm gonna kick the crap out of you! I figure if I stay alive long enough, something good's bound to happen.
You've come at the right time. Shinra changed their strategy. They are trying to destroy the reactor, so they can take the materia from it. We can't lose now. If we lose now, the materia I've dreamed about is history! Uh, is anywhere safe from Shinra? Their strategy has changed. They're making a final push. It's do or die. Our lives are in your hands. We're counting on you. Are you ready? This will settle things once and for all. There are more enemies out there than ever before. Now let's give it everything we've got. Yes! We did it! That was terrific. Well done. Shinra won't trouble us ever again. Th th that light just now. The co S sorry. Would would you check on things outside for me? Thank you all. I really mean it. Thank you so much. I have nothing to offer, but feel free to stop by any time. Oh yes, I forgot. Huh? What's up with this? Now we're talking. This is what I call materia. The truth is, this is the materia that was inside the reactor. Then what the hell are we fighting for? We weren't protecting the reactor at all. We were protecting the Condor. When the reactor was being built, they forced us to help. And that's how we knew what was inside. We knew this day would come. So after Shinra left, we sneaked in and took the materia. We didn't mean to deceive you, but I guess that's how it turned out. I'm really sorry. Eh, yeah, just forget about it. We were still alive, aren't we? I see. Thanks for looking at it like that. We're very grateful. We've been interfering a lot lately. Shinra's bound to be on high alert. How about we leave this for now and check up on the little fella? You mean Cloud? Yeah, but I'm also worried Tifa about a collapse. Let's head down to Medea.
So how is he doing? Poor guy. He must have had it rough. Sure hope he gets better soon. He needs to fight tooth and nail now more than ever. Thank heavens he pulled through. When I saw him carrying him up here, I thought for sure he was a goner. He must have had one powerful guardian angel watching over him. It's no use. He isn't getting any better. What should I do? What if he stays like this for the rest of his life? There. Coming. Who's that cloud? Oh. Uh. Damn! What the hell's going on? Ah! I hate earthquakes. This is bad. It's a big one! What the heck is this? Is a live stream bursting up from down below? Damn, that's... This is bad! Sid? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I got caught back in time. But I... <laughs> Don't you worry. Old Sid won't kick the bucket that easy. Be careful! Okay, here we go. Let's do it! Damn it, it's one of the freak weapons! Of all the times to show up! Bring it on, you son of a bitch! I'll heal you. Today's weather... Doom. I got your back. Yeah. Have a taste of electricity. I do not mean in deep space. Game over. Frozen in your path. Let's see how you like this! From me to you! I think you're going! <sighs> Just a little more, and we would have beaten it. At least the life stream's back to normal. Oh, you gotta be kidding! This is bad. The big current's gonna blow! Something way bigger than the last one's coming! Let's get out of here! But what about Cloud and Tifa? Oh, idiot! This is no time to worry about others! There's no telling when the stream will blow! Whoa! There's no time! Hurry!
Tifa! Claire! Get the hell out of there! This is bad! The tremors are getting worse! Hang on, Cloud! Doctor! Shouldn't we move outside? Yes, it will be safer in an open area. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll take you somewhere safe. No! The building can't take it! We have to hurry! We're coming! Ready, Cloud? Let's go! Cloud! 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 No! Where am I? What's happened to me? Cloud? Where's Cloud? Huh? What? Who? Who is it? I can't hear you! I don't know anything about that! You're wrong! It wasn't me! I'd never do anything like that! No! Stop! Stay back! Somebody! Help! Please! Cloud, where in the world are we? Are we inside your dreams? Or is this your mind? You're searching, aren't you? Searching for yourself. I'll help you. We'll work together and get the real you back. But where do we start? The gates of Nibelheim five years ago. Sephiroth and I passed under these gates. And that's how it all started. So this leads to Nibelheim. Yeah, it's probably best that we start there. Let's take a look, Cloud. I know it's not easy, but I'm here with you. Here's the water tower. And the old guy's in. The only truck in the village. It's been here since we were kids. This is the Nibelheim you remember. It's the same as my Nibelheim. So that makes this our Nibelheim, right?
Five years ago, two men from Soldier came here. Sephiroth and a young, cheerful person. Can you tell me again what happened? How does it feel? Five years ago, that's when I saw the real Sephiroth for the first time. It's been a while since you were back time. in your hometown, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know. I don't have a hometown. Um... Then where are your parents? The hero Sephiroth... My mother's name was Genova. She died giving birth to me. The greatest my soldier... My father... And your idol. But to tell you the truth, he... came across as rather cold. What am I saying? Now, move out. I remember feeling this strong sense of foreboding about him. No, Cloud. I've been too afraid to say anything. I've been hiding it all along. But I won't this time. You weren't here. Cloud, you didn't come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, you know. But you never came. The two soldiers dispatched to Nibelheim? Or were Sephiroth and someone else? Now. Move out. You mean the member of Soldier who left for Nibelheim with Sephiroth? Wasn't me? I'm... not gonna say anymore. You have to find the answer yourself. If you can't, you'll... Take your time, Cloud. Slowly. Little by little, okay? That starry night by the water tower. The promise we made. What if it was all just made up? Don't be impatient, Cloud. You have to stop chasing yourself if you want the answer. Try going back. Piece together all of those little memories. Slowly. Little by little. Like the stars which filled the sky that night. From the beginning, okay? Try and remember. That's right, I was wearing those clothes. Yeah, and that's right too. You were pretty short back then. And cute. Sephiroth said... that you created your memories by basing them on my stories. The starry night sky. You mentioned that first, I remember. The stars were so beautiful. We talked at the water tower. Just you and I. That's why I kept believing you were the same cloud. And I still do. I believe you're my cloud, from Nibelheim. But you don't believe it. This memory isn't enough. Cloud, what about your other memories? Hmm, no, not memories. A memory is something that is consciously recalled, right? That's why sometimes it can be wrong or become twisted. The memories that lie deep inside your heart are different. They tell the truth. If you were able to recall those memories, then... 
That's it! What about a memory that's connected with me? Rather than remembering something I said, why don't you say something and I'll see if I remember it? If I can, then the memory must be... Talk to me. About anything. A memory that's important to you. Come to think of it, why did you want to join Soldier in the first place? I seem to remember it was a snap decision. I was, I was devastated. frustrated. I, I wanted, wanted to be, to be noticed. noticed. I was sure that if I got stronger, I'd be respected. You wanted to be noticed? By who? Who? You know that already. By you. By you. That's who. Me? Why? Tifa, have you... forgotten what happened back then? You... I'm sorry, I have no idea. No, it's alright. You were having a hard time. You had your hands full. So it's no surprise that you don't remember. What about back then? It's important to me. It may be a bitter memory, but it's still very important. Do you want to see it? Come on, hurry! Secret wishes. Sealed away, all those tender feelings that no one ever knew. You know where this window leads, don't you? All right, let's go. My room? It was my first time there. It was? Really? Before that, I'd only ever looked up at it from the outside. Hey, look! It's Cloud! You think he wants to come in? So, that was the first time you came into my room? Yeah, it was, I remember. Even though we lived next door to each other, I never really knew you that well. Funny, I've always thought we were close. That we were close since childhood. But I don't remember us hanging out. My memory of you begins at the water tower, under the stars. Always the same trio. That's right. I... thought you were idiots. What?! You would always burst into laughter at the smallest things, like children. But we were children! I know. I was the idiot. I really wanted to play out with everyone, but you never asked me to join you. The more that went on, the more I thought I was different. Different from this bunch of immature kids. But maybe... Just maybe, one of you might call out to me. I held on to that hope, so I kept hanging around nearby. But I was too stubborn and rebellious, and I always felt so awkward around people. I was... weak. The night I asked you to meet me at the water tower, I thought... I thought you'd never show up. That you hated me. Yeah, it was a bit sudden. I was... surprised. 
But you know... While it's true we weren't that close... After you left the village, I thought about you a lot. I used to wonder how you were doing, if you'd managed to enlist with Soldier. I started reading the newspapers, thinking I might see an article about you. Thanks, Tifa. Tell him what you told me later. He'll be so happy. I will. Huh? Didn't something happen on this day? Something out of the ordinary? This was the day. Your mother, Thea. Oh, the day... the day Mom died. I want to see Mom! I wonder if there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nebel is scary. Peep. The mountain that no one crosses alive! Well, what about the dead? Did my mom cross the mountain? I'm gonna go see! I don't remember the path I walked. Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but I didn't make it in time. We both fell off that cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud! Why did you bring Tifa to a place like this? With you! What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. We all thought she wouldn't make it. If only I could have saved her. I was so angry at myself for my weakness. Ever since then, I felt Tifa blamed me. I went out of control. I didn't get into fights with anyone. That was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. I thought if I were strong like Sephiroth, then... If I could just get stronger, even Tifa would have to notice me. So that's how it was. I'm so sorry, Cloud. If only I'd remembered more clearly what happened back then, I could have done something sooner. It's not your fault, Tifa. It's mine. But that's... That's when we were eight! Hey, I've got it! You weren't created five years ago. My childhood memories can't possibly be made up. Hang in there, Cloud. Just a little bit longer. We're so close to finding the real you! Let's go back to Nibelheim one more time. The truth is here. 
The answer is right in front of us. Cloud, wait! Where? Where are you going? The reactor? To the Mako reactor. The Mako reactor. Uh, the five years ago. Isn't you? Z, Z, Ak. You remembered. Zach. That's right. It was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then, where were you, Cloud? Did you... see this? I... saw it. My mom. Who? Tifa. The village. Give them back. I respected you. Admired you. So that's what happened. You were with me. You were watching over me. Yeah, I remember. So, that was you. Hey Cloud, if you aren't feeling well, why don't you lose the helmet? Yeah. Yeah, this is... me. I never made it into Soldier. I told everyone I would before I left the village. I felt so ashamed. I didn't want anybody to see me. How does it feel? It's been a while since you were back in your hometown, right? <laughs> you did come. You did keep your promise. You really did come when I was in a bind. Sorry, I didn't get there sooner. Cloud, it's all right. Did you honestly think 
the likes of you could. Sephiroth, finish him. Sephiroth! Don't push your luck. Cloud. I have to say goodbye now, so we can meet again. Life stream. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yeah. We'll go back together. Hey, you all right? Tifa! Uh, uh... Barrett, I came back. What about Cloud? Is he all right? Yeah, don't worry about him. He's tough, that one. Barrett, I... I found the real Cloud when I was in the live stream. Well, it wasn't me that found him. Cloud, he did it all on his own. Yeah, I shouldn't have doubted him. He gave in to you, though. You're one hell of a woman. I guess people have so many things pent up inside. So many things that are forgotten. Strange, isn't it? Don't 
Tifa, snap out of it. Tifa. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't know what else to say. It's okay, Cloud. All you've been doing lately is apologizing. I never was in Soldier. The events from five years ago, all that stuff about Soldier, it was just an illusion that I created. By the time I left my village, I'd boasted to everyone about becoming a hero. But in the end, I wasn't good enough to make it. I was so ashamed and weak. Then I heard my best friend Zack talking about himself. I mixed his life with my own and created a fantasy. I've been trapped in it until now. An illusion? Sure had me fooled. Physically, I'm very similar to a soldier. Hojo's Sephiroth copies are nothing special. The process that was used to create them is almost identical to the ones that were used to create soldiers. The only difference was that the subjects involved were weak-willed. You see, those who are a good prospect for soldier aren't just bathed in Mako. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. For better or worse, only the strong-willed are chosen. It has nothing to do with Genova's reunion either. It's just that if the process is used on someone who's weak-willed, like me, they lose themselves. A man born from Genova's cells, Sephiroth's will, and his own weaknesses. That's the cloud that you all knew. I was merely an inhabitant of my own illusionary world. But I don't need illusions anymore. It's time to stop living a lie and start being myself. You mean the little stubborn, rebellious cloud, right? <laughs> Some change that is. Cloud, what are your plans? I hope you're not thinking of leaving. I'm the reason Meteor is hurtling towards us. If there's anything I could do to change that, I'll do it. Yeah, so you're gonna carry on fighting for the planet? Hmm, <laughs> lapdog? Hmm. <laughs> Though I might need to be put on a tight leash. <laughs> Cause it's your skinny ass and he's watching. What? I don't get it. There ain't, there ain't no, no getting get off of this train we're on. on. Cloud, I was deeply moved by your story. I'm kind of weak myself, so I know how you feel. No one knows when the fighting will begin, so let's get ready. Listen here, Cloud. We're in the middle of a huge materia mission. Heh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I don't want to rush you or nothing, but there's still the undersea Mako reactor in Junon. As far as I know, that's the only one left. How about we head out there? Come on, Claire. This ain't no time to mess around. Move it. Go. To Judah. Cloud, let's do our best, okay? Now that I've been one, I know how tough it is playing leader. Like who has what material. I end up forgetting that stuff instantly. It's good to have you back with us. To escape from a fantasy world. Huh. Which world is preferable, I wonder?
sorry if that was a wee bit sudden, but we need to get to Julon fast. Do do you want do you want to leave? Thank <laughs> you. 